Welcome back, Mr. Gunter Star, Guy Mine, episode 12. Let's get going! Alright, finally. We are in the sub, and things are gonna be a little weird here. Just gotta say, things are gonna be really weird. What are we walking on? Uh, we are walking on uh, Onigiri right now. That's what and I rice, thought. Uh, they, they are cooking right now. <laughs> so, this is my this is my favorite dungeon? Favorite dungeon. <laughs> I'm just thinking, it's like, uh, sorry guys, we could, couldn't afford a kitchen in this gigantic submarine. Let's just uh, pour lava all over the floor, and that's how, that's how you can do your cooking. Well, there's, uh, there's a few things about this, this dungeon. First of all, it is much, much, much more straightforward than the last one was. So therefore, it is a much better dungeon. And second, uh, this kind of tests your metal on everything you've learned so far. Uh, Yai is pretty much the, uh, <laughs> the main, the main character to use here, but, uh, this pretty much tests you on everything you've learned so far. And who gives a fuck about lava, because I certainly don't. <laughs> exactly. Did I even really need the chain block anyway? I could just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like you could just bounce burn yourself up to the next block. Now we have Flan. This oh is a weird-ass submarine, tell you what. I'm kidding, it's all food-based. And there's food within the food, because there's dumplings over there. This is a weird game, man. No! What was your first clue? But one more thing I love about this dungeon is, uh... It's, um... The music. It really builds up really well onto itself. I noticed, yeah, it's got a, uh... It starts out very slow, I noticed. It's only gonna build up from there. Love it. Alright. Really not much to, to say, because like I said, it's, mu it's much more straightforward than the uh, than the last one was. You're just so complaining because you suck at that castle. There's no more of me getting angry. It's all just <laughs> chill and trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Right, right. This is a time to uh, enjoy the game. We got past the hard part, so uh, we can just, you know, enjoy ourselves. By the way, this is based on a, a very obscure Japanese food called sushi. Oh, I've never heard of it. Uh, what is it made of? Uh, it is made of raw fish, seaweed, and vinegared rice. Oh, good lord. Who would want to eat that? What's cool is that they even got the grass there. You usually get in those sushi meals. Oh, yeah. This is a really clever dungeon. I really like it. Of course it is. I said it's my favorite. I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, switch to another character that's not as flammable. So now we're, uh, constantly switching characters. That's what's gonna be happening, uh... More so in the next dungeon than this one. Oh my god, the you actually are? <laughs> oh yeah, cause, uh, remember, we don't have Sasuke's magical power yet. We still have that to do. Oh, you're right. So, okay, we got ourselves the key, so where next? I would like to throw this out there. Is Sasuke's magic weapon actually worth it? His uh, magic power, you mean? Magic power, excuse me. Like, is it actually worth the time it takes to get it? We're going to use Ebisu's magic probably a total of two more times. If that. Maybe once. Goemon, probably once. Yai, a hmm, couple, couple few times. Maybe in this dungeon. Sasuke's magic power, we will use... A fucking lot. I can only imagine. But that's next episode. Not right now we're focusing on the damn sub. Oh, I Fair. get it. It's a sub. Like the sandwich. Oh my god. I love this game. For some reason I thought that soup would burn me because... Oh, that's well, even... <laughs> it, it did in the second game. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just thinking like... I thought that was going to be a plain old texture. I, I I didn't give this game enough credit. Good job, game. There's four floors. Uh, we've already kind of been through three of them already because Yai gave us a bit of a flyby. But this... it's much more straightforward. It's it's a uh, it's much like Oido Castle in a sense. This submarine has the stupidest layout I've ever seen. Do you really think the Peach Mountain Shoguns are about practicality? Because I don't fucking think so. Okay, you, you got me there. I mean. I, I forgot to consider who was piloting. So here's Yai with her mermaid powers again. 
Arbitrary time, we'll need it. Is that just swimming through, like, is that lava or beef broth or something? Oh, that would make it so much better. Hmm. Oh, now it's not that anymore. No! Oh, Who put a key down here? <laughs> I know! They have to go through all this food stuff, like, tampering with it, spoiling it, and really, the door that needs that key is right there. Yep. Actually, I think we have another key. That was just another key to get in there, and then we're gonna... If we, if we didn't get that other key before, we're gonna swim all the way over here and find out that we need another goddamn key. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Alright, so enough of that. I don't think there's anything else over here. Aha! There is. I can only imagine what this boss is going to be. You really don't know. I mean, look, I in case we were, we were really hurting for dumplings, there's a whole room of them right there, and I don't think we even really need them. Well, I mean, look at your health. You're dying here, dude. Have you got 20 20 health? Vision that I can see. Whatever. I, I had something, I lost it. Shut up. I see all that money. Oh, that's not money! Oh, sorry. <laughs> dumplings are full of omega 3, which uh, enriches the ocular muscles and. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so then we got all that. That was just a hidden little bonus in case we didn't want to think about backtracking, which I did. So now we can move on. I can't believe we're getting food study in a submarine. I know. We're learning so much. Oh. Very, in very inconsistent as well. <laughs> One minute's all, uh, shit. One minute's all covered in sushi and everything's all nice and everything's all in fucking fire! Yeah, it's like, I'm glad you enjoyed this, uh, this very soothing water segment. Have some fire! Now burn in the ambience! No! Please, no! This level design hurts me! That's a bit of a tricky jump there, because you're constantly yeah, I moving, so it's all about timing that jump. And again, I've got really old, semi-neglected N64 controllers here, so it's not always <laughs> perfect. Now, uh... I, I don't know if we went over this, but have you had... Oh, good lord, get out of the fire. Come on, get in the fuck! <laughs> well, uh, while, you're, <laughs> while you're sitting here killing yourself, um, have you uh, ever had a controller malfunction on you while you were playing? Like, during play? Yeah, during play. A few times. There was the one time that my, uh, my 3DS circle pad fell off during an online match. Well, uh, more of, of Smash, of course. More specifically, this game. On this game, no. Like I could just imagine you're fighting a boss and you somehow beat it thanks to your controller dying. I found that my butt. God damn it! Good lord! Get what do I even try the... to do anymore? Get on There's the conveyor the fucking belt. Get I the shouldn't fucking have to tell cake. you this. There. Now you can get the <laughs> fuck back over here. Cause I don't even care anymore. I got shit to do. The life lessons that Goemon teaches me. Jump into the fire to get across the room. Anyway. Now we gotta worry about a gold key. And oh, look at that render fog. <laughs> just uh, just can't handle big rooms, can oh, you? That's right. I forgot N64 had render fog. Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> that's the sound of the N64 processor. <laughs> yeah. It just can't handle this much going on. Oh. oh, please, no, not another room! Okay, you get a tiny room, which is actually... What we got Fire. here is... The Yai Bazooka! What? Yai gets a bazooka. Oh. Because she had one, remember? You should know this. Well, now, I mean, is. how could I forget? How could you forget? Well, you did forget. I mean, come on. Costs money, of course, but that's okay. You can fire in three directions. It locks on as well. Very, very handy. Nice, oh nice. wait, just kidding. It's actually fucking useless. Case in point. <laughs> you need to be on the useless. same plane as them. Useless. 
It's supposed to be Yai's only way of attack underwater, but even then it's fucking useless. Oh, the dear. point of Lock On is that it's supposed to die! It's supposed to be destroyed! This is a year after Star Fox 64. When something is locked on, it should be gone! So fuck it, just use a sword. There you go! I gotta be like right the fuck in front of it, I'd rather just use the sword then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, try that in real life with bazooka at point blank range, see how far you get. It works better, go figure, because bazookas <laughs> yeah. can't hit anything from far off distances, that's not how they work. No, not no, in the no, 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 no. Not in the Meiji era, at least. Oh, yeah. Okay, may maybe there is a, uh, you know, a, uh, a timeline difference between uh, bazookas now and bazookas then, so maybe it did work like that, I don't know. You know, I'm starting to get the feeling that this game may not be entirely historically accurate. I I'm starting to sense some anachronisms. I I'm I'm getting that vibe, but uh, I still think it ho it holds up to its timeline. You know what? I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, sure. Right. We'll give it that. There is that elevator that we used to get up here the first time, so... It shows how far we've come. We've now come to the first room we've seen, I guess, in a way. I don't know. Excellent. So I guess we'll head over there. Doo -doo. You have to be perfectly still to use your magic at any point, as anybody. It's ridiculous. Really? I mean, Enough for Ebisu's turn, where it just flat out tells you, use the fucking camera, dumb shit. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Thanks, Ebisu. You're the only one who can use that camera for... Well, you needed something to do. <laughs> I'm just envisioning this, like, Ibisamaru is the only one that can use a camera, while Yai can't figure out a bazooka. I, you know, like, nobody can figure out their different anachronisms here. I find that hilarious. This game is silly. <laughs> yeah, just a oh, little there's bit. Two, there's two of them! Whoa! Oh my god. Gah! Where the that hell did you go? Cool. Oh. Just showing that a key showed up. I thought that yeah. was you flying away, like you glitched the game somehow. And, oh, there goes your fright! <laughs> Whoa! Look at him go! <laughs> All right, that's a diamond key, and now the music has changed into its final form. It means we're getting close. Yes. If you're wondering if there are any uh, fortune dolls in this dungeon. Are there any fortune dolls in this dungeon? There are no fortune dolls in this dungeon. And now we know. And knowing is... Well, I'm doing the battle. Fuck you. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> so I guess that's one of the many things they fixed in uh, later iterations, not being able to go up the wrong side of a ladder. Well, hey, I can't go up the wrong side of a ladder in Bloodborne or Zelda. This game's just fucking obsolete. <laughs> it's a trendsetter. Either that or it fixed the problem. Or that, whatever. Alright, let's look at the map real quick. We've got two rooms here. One leads to the room we've been to earlier, and one leads to a place we haven't been yet. So let's hope we chose the right one. Choose your fate, Sasuke. Which door will you go through? Who knows? I think that was the right room. Hope so. I'm so glad I have a tour guide that's unsure of himself. That makes it more exciting. It's like you're mystery behind it. <laughs> you're experiencing the adventure with me, even though you've experienced the adventure like ten plus years ago. And I've recorded this about a week ago. <laughs> yeah. The thing I forget about everything. Oh no, I I know the feeling. So this one-up is a little bit, uh, special. I love games that make you do this. Within reason, of course. Oh, the the border walk? The whole thing, go around the entire room to get this one thing, and... Ah! That aha moment where you realize what you gotta do. I can actually see the hamster running in Sasuke's brain as he figured out that death-defying puzzle. And now something weird happened. The music reverted back to the second form. Were you now getting... we're in the wind-up wind camera room again. Is it because you went too far away, or...? We're... Hmm. Guess I'll just use this thing again. 
I noticed the camera didn't cost any money. Has that happened all the time? I thought it did cost money, but I was wrong and I forgot to correct myself, so it does not cost money because Yabusabara is a cheap date. My kind of guy. There must be something left in here then, or we can just go in the other door that we didn't go and do in the other door earlier. Or maybe I can... yeah. Or we're doing the right thing, I promise! Yeah, okay. Yeah, as you sit here pondering on whether you should jump into the uh, giant bowl of broth here. Again, I thought that could hurt me. Because <laughs> I swear, in like almost every other game where you jump in a gigantic bowl of soup, because there's so many, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. They always hurt. So this must be the place, because there's... The layout of this place is a little weird sometimes, but it's still much more fun than the last one. <laughs> That's backwards, so this is the way to go. That way, dude. Okay. More fire! <laughs> and <laughs> again! Jump right in it! Just flat out tells you. There's like no secret room or anything where you can use the wind-up camera thing. Man, it'd be a lot easier if I could, you know, go from place to place. To Maybe I can use the camera. See if that works. You know, it just says, "Here's the camera." Okay, bye. Hey, dumb shit. Use the camera. Sammy Samara needs instruction. Or I could Aww. just say, "Fuck the camera," and just, you know, walk over hot coals to get the key. Because <laughs> that seems to work too. I think it would actually be funny if. Now, is that? Is that pathway just invisible, or does it only show up when you use the camera? I'm pretty sure it only shows up when you use the camera. I, I was about to say, if if it was there all the time, and the camera just made it appear to make it easier for you, that would be kind of funny to just trick people in going, Oh, I'm just going to jump in the coals. Oh, look at me, I'm not getting hurt. Fool your friends. What sorcery is this? I think you found some magical glitch, but then they put the sign there to make sure you don't have that idea at all. So the game put the sign there just so you couldn't trick your friends. They believe in the honor system. I guess? Ugh. I don't know where to go, I'm just... Getting there is difficult. Music reverts again, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting hungry though. <laughs> Me too! Oh, it's some golden dumplings. Nice. Because, of course, Ebisu needs to eat. Exactly. All right. We're on track. There's so... the diamond key right there. In we go. All right. God, I would hate to be the guy to have to chisel all those diamond keys. And now the music's back. Ah, <laughs> uh, keeping tradition alive. You ever go into fun houses? You you walk into rooms like this, except there's like mirrors everywhere and it's all spinning. Oh yeah, yeah. I cannot do those rooms. Like oh. I seriously can't. I gotcha. Messes with your uh, depth perception. Yeah. Like I don't know if it's my eyes or anything, but I'm having problems right now. <laughs> oh. You're not gonna believe how this is gonna end. You just can't believe. You beat the bad guy. So now we meet Poron, another dude in their uh, Peach Mountain Shogun thing, whatever. So where's the miracle item, you bastard? And... Well... Oh god, are you kidding me? <laughs> yep. Doesn't have it. And now our antagonists are here to mock us. <laughs> he sounds like one of those automatic jack o' lanterns for Halloween. Hell, in an E-rated game, can you believe that shit? 
I'm just so fucking offended that they put hell in an N64 game. What the fuck is with that cunting bullshit? No! Excuse me, you're offending me over here. Sorry. Dancing! Dancing! I get it! Oh! Oh! That's some wordplay! That got lost in translation! God, this soap opera is really bad. I'm glad you caught it was a soap opera. Out, I say! <laughs> and those uproarious laughter from the studio audience! Not since Ganondorf have we seen a more intimidating <laughs> villain. As the ultimate wizard Ganon. So now they're gonna set the place to fucking blow. What? Yep. Really? They've lost the miracle item. They don't have a special robot here to, for us to fight. Like, traditionally. And they're, they're all gone, we're gonna blow up. So we're gonna save and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. Oh my god.